Hello, welcome to Man United Update, YouTube channel for followers of Red Devils Manchester United. First of all, to be a force for our team. Please press like, press share and most importantly, press subscribe. So that you will not miss news, updates, news of our club. For this clip we will talk about news issues. The interest of the Manchester United club that in the past days from the media that there is any current let's go follow this clip. Let's look at the news first. Arsenal legend Ian Wright heaps praise on Man United defender Lisandro Martinez. Arsenal legend Ian Wright heaped praise on Manchester United defender Lisandro Martinez following his gritty performance against Crystal Palace in the Premier League. The Red Devils secured a 2-1 win over the Eagles at Old Trafford yesterday, but they had to work hard for the result following a red card for Casemiro in the 70th minute. They showed tremendous defensive resolve in the closing stages and Martinez was definitely the pick of the players with a vital block on goal as well as several clearances. The Argentine was clearly United's man of the match against the Eagles and speaking on BBC Match of the Day, Wright was hugely impressed with the Argentine's display. He said, that defender man, Martinez. He is something. Casemiro's sending off against Palace changed the complexion of the game. The Red Devils were cruising to a 2-0 win at one point of time before the red card. The Eagles pulled one goal back through Jeffrey Schlapp, but United managed to hold on comfortably in the end with Martinez making crucial challenges in the box. The Argentine has been a revelation since his move from Ajax last summer. He has been hugely consistent, putting in standout performances in almost every game. With a man down yesterday, the £45 million rated star stepped up to the plate and he truly deserves the plaudits from the fans as well as respected pundits such as Wright. With the Palace result, United have won 13 games on the trot at home. Old Trafford has become a fortress and long may the run continue under manager Eric Ten Hag. Go to next news. Man United handed big blow with Casemiro suspended for three key Premier League games. Manchester United have been handed a big blow with midfielder Casemiro suspended for the upcoming Premier League games against Leeds United and Leicester City. The Brazilian star has been a pivotal figure in the centre of the park since October, but he has let down the team recently with his poor discipline on the playing field. The 30-year-old missed the 3-2 defeat at Arsenal last month after receiving his fifth yellow card of the league campaign against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. He made his comeback against Palace this afternoon, but got himself sent off in the 17th minute after losing his temper and grabbing Will Hughes by the neck. Jordan A. You should have been sent off for a similar action on Fred, but this does not take away the blame from Casemiro, who should have controlled his emotions. United are now set to be without Casemiro for the doubleheader against Leeds on February 8th and February 12th as well as the Leicester game on February 16th. The good news is that the €50 Euros million rated star is available for the Europa League ties against Barcelona and the Carabao Cup final, but the club are bound to miss him in the league. United have a tremendous record against Leeds since the latter's top flight promotion, but the club can't be taken lightly as they are one of the division's best pressing teams. The Yorkshire outfit tend to be relentless with their high work rate and not having Casemiro could hamper United on the road with Scott McTominay and Christian Eriksen injured. Marcel Zabitza, who made his debut off the bench today, will have to step up right away alongside Fred. He had a good cameo and will definitely be busy in the coming weeks. The big challenge for the duo will be their defensive awareness. Zabitza is strong with his tackling and ability to win duels, but the Austrian prefers to play in the number 8 position. Fred is a similar sort of player, who likes to press forward regularly. The Brazilian does not have the same concentration as Casemiro. He has been caught out of position many times in the past. Go to next news. Eric Ten Hag ready to axe six first team in the summer. Manchester United are already preparing for the next phase of their squad rebuild under Eric Ten Hag. 
The Mirror reports that Harry Maguire, Anthony Marshall, Scott McTominay, Alex Tellez, Eric Bally and Donny van der Beek will be shown the exit door next summer. This will free up space in the squad for significant new arrivals. United are looking to sign a marquee centre midfielder and a striker in the next transfer window. The Red Devils lack quality depth in their squad, which was recently exposed again when Christian Eriksen got injured. Selling fringe players will help the club to recoup some funds and boost Ten Hag's transfer kitty. Since the Dutchman's arrival, it has been clear that he demands a commanding voice when it comes to the transfer business. In his first summer window with United, he signed players who he knew well from his time at the Amsterdam. He remained adamant about signing Anthony from Ajax, forcing the club to splash out a massive £86 million fee. It is for the first time since Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement that United have a manager who wants the team to play attractive and attacking football. Not all players in the squad Ten Hag inherited from Ralph Ragnick are a perfect fit for his style of play. On that basis, it is not a surprise to see the manager drawing a summer plan which includes selling six players. Harry Maguire's lack of mobility and speed obstructs the team from playing with a high defensive line. Scott McTominay is neither a dependable number six nor a creative attacking midfielder. At best, he is a squad player at Old Trafford. According to the Mirror, West Ham United, Everton, Fulham and Aston Villa are interested in signing the 26-year-old. Getting a decent transfer fee for McTominay would be smart business from United's perspective. Marshall has missed most of the season due to injuries, making him an unreliable player up top. United have already moved on from Alex Tellez and Eric Bally, with both players spending this season on loan elsewhere. Go to next news. Eric Ten Hag gives verdict on Marcel's Zabitza debut. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has given a positive assessment of Marcel Zabitza's debut for Manchester United. Zabitza, 28, came off the bench in the 84th minute to help United see off a surging Crystal Palace, with seven minutes of injury time thrown in. United were down to 10 men after a red card for Casemiro, and Zabitza helped United see off a 2-1 win. Bruno Fernandes had scored a first-half penalty, with Marcus Rashford netting in the second half. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag spoke positively about Marcel Zabitza in his post-game interview. He says he was impressed with the Austrian international and is very glad he has him in his squad. Ten Hag told the club website, he understands football. You see it straight from the start. We have already seen that in the training as well, but yeah he did quite well. He's really composed on the ball and he knows how to defend so we need such a player who understands the game and will also bring the right spirit. Casemiro's upcoming three-game suspension will see United lean on Zabitza. But this was why he was brought in, to strengthen the club's midfield options. Zabitza has huge experience, and part of the job description for the midfielder Ten Hag wanted, was a player capable of coming in and contributing right away. The midfielder was happy to make his debut and has already received applause from Alessandro Martinez. This was a great way to step in and introduce himself to Manchester United's fans, and he will be better for it. Go to next news. Eric Ten Hag comments on Alejandro Garnacho impact for United against Palace. Alejandro Garnacho had the unfortunate situation of being a substitute who became substituted in Manchester United's win over Crystal Palace. But this was no reflection on Garnacho's actual performance. After coming on in the 59th minute against Palace, Garnacho helped lift United, after the performance had gone flat. United were leading 1-0 through an early Bruno Fernandes penalty, but particularly early in the second half, United stalled. Then on came Garnacho for Wout Weghorst, and minutes later Marcus Rashford had doubled United's lead. Garnacho played a part in United's second goal, linking up with Luke Shaw, who provided the ball for Rashford to hit his 19th goal of the season. But then a red card to Casemiro changed the game. 
United conceded a goal, and then had to hang on to leave with all three points. In doing so, Eric Ten Hag made tactical changes, one of which included taking Garnacho off in the 87th minute as part of a double change which saw Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof come on. With seven minutes of injury time, United needed all defenders on the pitch to see out the win. Speaking after the game via the club website, Eric Ten Hag made very clear he was very impressed with Garnacho's impact. He said, I think it was difficult for the opponent when we bring in that sub Garnacho on for Wartweg Horst because it was a different dynamic all of a sudden. They are focusing on a player who is playing all of the time on the ball and then they have a player who is going round the back of them. It was great to see that the team picked up a good dynamic and the change, and took the benefit of it. Garnacho has been a regular in United's squad in recent weeks and even started the recent Carabao Cup semi-final second leg. He will be anxious to get back on the score sheet soon, but Ten Hag is clearly very pleased with the 18-year-old's impact. This is a summary of the latest Manchester United news from the media. What do your friends think about the past news? Feel free to comment. Finally, if friends if you like it, please press like, press share and press follow. Together to encourage the team to search for information to present to the Red Devils fans. Together in the next clip for today, goodbye.